animals moved, they moved. They had horses. That separates them from other tribes on the plains. Not all the plains Indians had horses. Most of these tribes did. Where did they get them? The Spanish let them loose. Cortez came through, lost some horses, and these horses had been breeding out in the wild for a very long time, and they catch them, they domesticate them, and they use them to hunt buffalo. Now, you think about this. They were hunting buffalo before the horse came along. How did you do that? It's hard to sneak up on buffalo. But they did it by killing a buffalo, draping that hide over themselves, and just slipping up on the herd. So, well, how dumb. Or buffalo. If you can do that, well, if you look like a buffalo and you smell like a buffalo, you're a buffalo. Buffalo don't ask you for an ID. <laughs> and you come crawling up on the herd in a, with a buffalo head, a buffalo hide. They take one look at you and think, okay, midget buffalo. They don't think twice about it. <laughs> and you sneak up and shoot them. The horse comes along, and now you can ride the herd down. The buffalo are mean. They're wild animals, and, and you can get hurt bad on a buffalo hunt. They have short but very powerful horns, and when you get real close to them with a horse, that buffalo will turn into that horse and attack the horse. And if he attacks the horse and the horse stumbles and you go down, you're dead. Buffalo don't run around you. They're going to run over you. Now, horses don't. I don't know what you know about a horse. A horse will do all he can to avoid you. They won't necessarily run over you. A stampede of horses, they will run around you if they can. A buffalo, they, they think you're just part of the prairie. They're just running down. So, so hunting buffalo can be a very dangerous thing. But they were on the plains in the millions. In 1865, it was estimated there were 15 million buffalo. 15 million buffalo on the plains. That's a lot. Of animals. Look what they provided for the Indians. Well, number one, meat. You're eating the meat of the buffalo, very lean, very nutritious meat, and you can eat a long time. Of course, the Indians have no way of preserving the meat, so what you didn't eat usually went bad. You had no way to really preserve it. The Indians didn't use salt, they didn't use any other preservation techniques, so you had to keep killing animals to keep fresh meat on the, on the table, although they didn't use tables. Materials for clothing. Uh, your your outfits you're going to wear, the shoes on your feet, the blanket that kept you warm in the winter. They provided everything for them. Bowstrings, that was sinew. The sinew of the buffalo, they would just pull that out and tie that on a bow. It was flexible, and they used that for bowstrings. Tools, they used the horn and the larger bones, and in some cases the smaller bones of the buffalo for tools. How did Indians sew things together? Usually a buffalo bone, which they would bring to a nice point. Use that for a, for a needle or an awl to sew things together. Leather strips. If you're going to take two pieces of leather and put them together to make a piece of clothing, how do you put them together? You make strips out of the hide of the buffalo. Let it dry and use that like thread. I mean, everything they needed. What about the teepee? What's the teepee made of? It was made of the hide of buffalo. Sometimes antelope, but usually buffalo. And they would tie as many as 10 to 20 of those tied together to cover the outside of a teepee. Everything the Indian needed was on the hoof of a buffalo. Why did the Indians get so upset about the white man? Because he ruined their possibility of existence. 1865, there's 15 million. 20 years later, there are less than 1,000 buffalo. Less than a 1,000 in 20 years. That was one of the big problems the Indians had with the white man, and I think rightly so.